All right, Fiona Anderson from Business in Vancouver is back with us. Good morning, Fiona. Good morning. Well, the feds are in town. They're going to be handing out some money for clean technology. That's right. So, so they were in town yesterday and they gave $27.3 million to 10 different companies in British Columbia. I mean, the clean tech industry has been around for a while. It's actually becoming quite a big industry in Canada. The government said it's now worth $11 billion across the country and employs 41,000 people. And BC actually is a one of the bigger provinces that actually deal with clean tech. So they were here yesterday as part of a Sustainable Development Technology Corp and giving out these funds to a variety of companies. Some of them are quite interesting projects and some are kind of surprising. The biggest recipient was West Fraser Timber. Now they received a grant of $6.1 million. And I find that a bit surprising because we don't think of them as a clean tech company. We think of them as a forest com company. But what they're doing is, um, in wood, there's something called lignin. And that is... Uh, what actually yellows newspaper. So they won't take the lignin out if they want nice bleached white paper. And uh, they do that, and, but then they just get rid of the lignin. They don't do anything with it. But West Fraser's going to actually try to re group or recapture that lignin because it can be used for a variety of things. Uh, polymer resins, for example. So tacking is things that, uh, so it can be replacing a lot of other things. So they received $6.1 million. Another uh, a company that got something with Switch Technologies. They received $2.5 million this year. They also received uh, funding in 2011. Um, what they do is they actually have a special glaze that goes on rooftop, car rooftop windows. And it actually affects, you can turn it on and off, and it affects how much heat gets into the car. So it affects how much air conditioning you will need. You can turn it on, it cools the car, so you don't need as much air conditioning. And as you know, air conditioning uses a lot of gas. So that's not good. So that's another one of the uh, technologies that were given funding this year. And, um, and it's such a rigorous process to give this funding. The, comp uh, the government makes sure that it's a really viable product and that it's... Um, and that it's actually going to go to be commercial. So it is a very good uh, rigorous process and what it means is if you get funding through this program there's a really good chance that investors are also going to invest. So it's a, it's a good news for all the companies because they should now expect some investing money as well. Awesome. Okay. Thanks very much for that Fiona. If you want some more details on this or more you can go to BIV.com. 643 now.